Hunger's Gates. You will meet it on the other side. Okay, let's look at the workroom before we go. Right there. This was locked in the previous parts of the series. Oh, it's like for smithing and stuff. That's cool. I like that. Let's go back to Skyrim. Is there anything I can do to you? So this is my house now. Is there something I can do for you? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. Anticlimactic. Speak to Lahar. Oh, what? That's weird. Why did it tell me to go speak to Lahar? Hello. To you, that is peculiar. The travel machine is working correctly for me. As I mentioned earlier, I have already gone through it to gather supplies. Perhaps you should speak to Lahar too about this. Oh no. There's more issues. I didn't know that would happen. I thought I was done. I thought the quest was over. Did you have something to say? Some force is keeping me from using the travel machine. You want to leave. You want to go back out into the world. Is it not luxurious here? You can stay. Lahar will bring you food. You can eat and sleep and read and tinker and be safe. You can stay. I don't want to. I can't remain here all the time, never leaving. I see. Very well. I believe I know what keeps you here, so listen closely. I must first explain what we are. What I am. You won't understand otherwise. We are the Gilded. I have a crystalline heart in a metal chest. A soul gem. In it resides the soul of a Dwemer woman, once living. A woman named Lamashtu. That makes sense. My bones are my own, but gilt in metal. Fused with armor, pinion and gear to hold me together. I died long ago. Soul trap magic was cast upon us, and we were lowered into the molten metal. And I... And then... When I was very young, she took me away from the Foundry Mother and said, Thou art the child of my endeavors. Follow me and thou shalt inherit the world. Very strange. It does make sense how they are living now though because of the soul gem. Something. Something is wrong with Lamash too. She's speaking nonsense. That is concerning. I should check on her. Is that a broom? <laughs> what the Follow me. He has a broom. Put the broom down, Lamar. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, shit. 
have no part of it. I do not think it could happen to her, but how much to is losing herself. I need to make this plain. This is a very bad thing. She may become like our brethren down below. I is a raving. Hostile. Hollow. It's the ghost. It has to be. She was about to tell me what's keeping me here. I'm afraid we won't be getting anything from her in this state. I believe she needs a new heart. She mentioned having a soul gem for a heart. Yes, and hers is degrading. If this continues, she will lose herself completely. And if this shatters, she will die. Can anything be done? Possibly. I am unsure. Long ago, when our brothers and sisters still spoke to us, there was a rounder. He was the first to lose himself, but he was not like the others. One day he simply left and disappeared into the unused parts of the Duran. Soon after, our brethren began to vanish as well, one by one. Later we would discover their discarded shells, every one of them missing their heart. It was said that Malcolm had taken their hearts into his own body. A new body of his own making. I have never seen him myself. But if he has been collecting hearts, he may have an empty one we can use. It must be empty or we cannot use it. It will appear darkened. It will not flow like mine, or those of my brethren. If Malcolm still exists, you may find him somewhere down in Urgeram. I suspect he is dangerous. Be careful. Wow. Come find me if you need something. Looks like we gotta go find an empty heart for Lamash to. I'm really wondering what's wrong with Lamash, dude. I wonder if we'll be able to figure this out and, like, solve it. Maybe we could save Lamash, too, and bring her back so that we can leave. I thought the quest was going to be over, to be honest. I thought that was going to be the end right there before we... before the whole Lamash, dude, problem. The courier's still here. What the heck? <laughs> Looks like we gotta go back down. And I he told us about like a maybe maybe a boss, like a bigger boss, which is scary. Which is very kinda scary to think about that this is gonna have a boss battle, like some sort of Oh, maybe it's one of those big giant robot things. Or maybe the ghost again? Who knows? I wonder what's going to happen with the ghost, because that is a very mysterious part of this quest mod. And I really like it so far. I really like how um, the quest has a mysterious background, as well as a very, you know, story-driven. Okay, so where are we? I thought I heard music. Music's getting louder.
This is very mysterious. It's pretty loud right here. Hopefully you guys can hear the music. It's coming from over here. I'm really close, it's really loud. Wow, that was horrible. I saw you. I saw you in here earlier. You crawling over everything. Repairing the pipes. Are you looking for me? Come to the sickness ward. No, this is scary. <laughs> that was really weird. I took what I could from the shadow, then left her alone. One heart was too few. It was unsafe. If it broke, I would be gone forever. I need the hearts. I need them. I am too big. They break. One after the other. You are not compatible. Your death is acceptable, however. You are not needed. If you truly wish to stay, come find me in the Southern Commissary. I shall find room for you somewhere. More music. Sorry I'm being quiet. I know someone complained about me being quiet earlier. I'm just really focused right now. I'm sh you should be too. Oh god, it is a giant robot. Let's make this a nice fight. I don't want this to be too easy. <laughs> 